so glad I've been saved and sanctified Oh, oh, oh I'm so glad I've been saved and sanctified Hey, hey, hey I'm so glad I've been saved and sanctified I want to thank the Lord Thank the Lord Thank the Lord Let me say that again Ah, so glad I've been saved and sanctified. Oh, 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 I'm so glad I've been saved and sanctified. Hey, 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 I'm so glad I've been saved and sanctified. I wanna thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. Jesus died. On the cross, I've been saved and sanctified. Oh, Jesus died on the cross. I've been saved and sanctified. Hey, 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 Jesus died on the cross. I've been saved and sanctified. I wanna thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. Yo, Jesus died. On the cross, I've been saved and sanctified. Oh, 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 Jesus died. On the cross, I've been saved and sanctified. Hey, 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 Jesus died. On the cross, I've been saved and sanctified. I want to thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I want to thank the Lord. I 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 thank Him for my mother. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank Him for my father. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. Tell me, do you wanna thank Him? I thank the Lord. I. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank Him for my help. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank Him for my strength. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank Him for my strength. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. He woke me up this morning. I thank the Lord. You know I thank the Lord. He woke me up on time. I thank the Lord. You know I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. Close in my right mind. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. Food on my table. I thank the Lord. I gotta thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. Money in my pocket. I thank the Lord. You know I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. Can you help me? For my mother, I thank the Lord. I thank Him for my father. I thank the Lord. I thank Him for my preacher. I thank the Lord. Money in my pocket. I thank the Lord. Food on my table. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. Tell me, do you thank Him? I thank the Lord. Yeah. Do you thank the Lord? I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. Pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day, still praying that I onward bound, Lord. Feet on higher ground, Lord. 
Lord, lift me up. Lord, lift me up. And I shall stand. And let me stand. My faith on heaven. My faith on heaven. And table land. Table land. No higher plane. No higher plane. That I have found. That I have found. Oh, Lord, plant my feet on high. Yeah. Me stand. And let me stand My faith on heaven My faith on heaven My table land No higher plane No higher plane That I have found That I have found Oh Lord Plant my feet on your ground God called Moses Lord lift me up The mountain top and let me stand Take off your shoes God lift me up You'll hold the ground And let me stand I'm not worried God lift me up Whoa. I'm not afraid And let me stand I know you do God lift me up Just what you say And let me stand Say if I go God lift me up You'll go with me And let me stand Open up your mouth Lord lift me up You'll speak of me And let me stand Oh Lord Lord lift me up Oh Lord, oh, Lord lift me up Just stand and let me stand. My faith on heaven, my faith on heaven, and table land, table land. No higher plane, no higher plane that I have found. That I have found. Oh Lord, let my feet on high, your ground. Lord, lift me up, Lord, lift me up, and I shall stand and let me stand. My faith on heaven, my faith on heaven, and table land, table land. no higher plane, no higher plane that I have found. That I have found. Oh Lord, plant my feet on high, your ground. Oh Lord, lift me up. Oh Lord, lift me up. Oh Lord. Somewhere it says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let me see if I can help us out here. Yeah. Think about his goodness. Think about his mercy. Think about his keeping power, delivering power. Think about how he watched over us all week long. And then somewhere between midnight and sunrise, early this morning, yeah, you may have had your aches in your pains. But I believe every time you feel an ache or a pain, it's a reminder that I'm still on the side. And you need to overlook your pain and say, Lord, I thank you for another day. You, 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 you may have to not roll out of bed. You may have to crawl out of bed, but that's all right. I know some folks right now, they 
wish they could feel the pain. I, they, 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 they wish. So don't, 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 don't complain about your pain. Say, Lord, I thank you. Now you ought to feel a little bit better now. I do. When I think about wow, that the Lord not only has done, but what he's doing. Oh, bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Oh God, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, oh God, for leaving this world, but you left us with a comforter. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Pray now that it move on the alt you move on the altars of our heart. If nothing more comes, then a thank you, Jesus. A praise in the midst of what's going on. Uh, we know that everything is already all right. Oh, God, we bless your name. Now, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Job chapter 2. Verses 7 and 8, the book of Job, chapter 2, verses 7 through 8. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. And struck Job with painful boils from the sole of his feet to the crown of his head. And it took for himself a pot sheared, which is simply a broken flower pot, uh, with which to scrape himself while he sat in the midst of the ashes. It may, may be seated. A few moments I want to talk about when things are coming apart, when things are coming loose. The forces that once kept us glued together are on the verge of coming apart. Community caring has all but vanished. Schools are rapidly losing sight of their purpose. Uh, they are so caught up in controversy that teaching is no longer a priority. The courts are releasing hardened criminals to make room for more hardened criminals. I tell you, when we look all around, it will paint a picture of the fact that things are coming loose. The Word of God tells us how to and how not to deal with failure and frustration. You cannot tell lies expecting broken situations to come back together again. It does not work. Abraham discovered that calling his wife his sister only made matters worse. Saul found disobedience was not the answer. David found, David found that murder was not the solution. Jeremiah thought that denying his calling would solve all his problems. The fire in his bones proved him wrong. When things looked as though they were coming apart, Judas betrayed our Lord, and Peter denied him. Escape seemed impossible as Moses 
stood on the banks of the Red Sea. The crowd was ready to go back to the brickyards of Pharaoh. The same crowd that left Egypt praising their leader was now ready to attack, blame, condemn, accuse, charge, and denounce against all that he stood for. Things were coming loose. Things were coming apart. Moses knew the answer to deteriorating conditions. He told the people to fear not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Fear not because there is no problem that God cannot solve. Stand still because God wants you to know that uh, what's about to take place is not the result of your rebellion and confusion. See the salvation of the Lord. God could have divided the waters before they got there. He, he knew they were coming that way. But God wanted them to see the beauty of his handiwork. God, God can do some things while you're sleeping. But, but, but he waits till the morning so that you can see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Joshua, Joshua discovered that in spite of the mirac miraculous work at the Red Sea, Many were still bowing before idol gods. That's right. That's right. Religiously, the people were still in bondage. Yeah. The, the, this leader and, and soldier found that things were coming loose. Yeah. Yeah. He could have solved his personal problems by joining the crowd. His popularity would never have been in jeopardy if he'd had honored the gods of Egypt. But Joshua took his personal convictions to the people. We cannot go on like this. Some of you are calling the name of Jehovah while bowing before the idols of Egypt. Choose for yourselves just who you're going to serve. Listen to what he said. I've already made up my mind. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I know I'm just not stopped, but hey, hey, has anybody else in here made the same conviction? Serve who you will, but I made up my mind. As for me, in my house, we will serve the Lord. Well, we, we feel added sympathy for Job because things came apart when he had lived uprightly before God. He went to the church, the temple every, every Sabbath. No doubt he gave his tithes and offerings. And he was a family man. Not only was he blessed with ten children, but by all measures, he was a good man and wealthy within his own rights. In spite of the fact that God called Job his servant, and although his record was perfect, things were coming loose. Things were falling apart. All of us are subject to have dreams turned into nightmares. There is no guarantee that some disaster will not come suddenly into your life. These things may may be beyond your control, but how you deal, how you handle them 
is not. Although Job had moments of weakness and despair, he did know how to deal with his circumstances. From him we learn how to handle our lives when things are coming loose, when, when, when things are coming apart. Jo, jo, th thank you, baby. Maybe they'll start saying amen in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Jo, jo. Job also fell on hard times. But he knew how to handle tragedy. Yeah, he, his children are dead. Servants killed and livestock destroyed. Things fell apart, but Job did not. Many who experience disaster distance themselves from God. But not Job. The, the record says he, he worshiped. Now, 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 this is good information. When, 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 when things are falling apart, maybe we just need to worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Job found comfort in acknowledging that God has the right to do with him However, he chooses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he did not charge God foolishly. And uh, he said, naked came out of my mother's womb. And naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. D -d Don't miss this now. Job is worshiping. In the midst of everything falling apart around him. Many times we run in the face of the slightest disruption. Soon what was a minor problem becomes a major one. Job teaches us that a change for the better is sure to come. Uh, we then must learn patience in the face of trouble. This is what he says, that though his grief was heavy, Job said, I, I will wait until my change comes. Acting in haste in most cases only worsens the condition. That's why I like what Isaiah said. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Oh yeah, yeah. That, there was a time when I didn't know how to handle a crisis situation. But God would always remind me that nothing comes apart that is turned over to him. If you don't want to come apart, you got to learn how to turn it over to the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. here's the solution. Call to God for help in times of difficulties. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the natural thing to do. Even primitive man reached beyond himself when things came apart. Right. Hear him saying, Law, have mercy. Yeah. Is the common plea when trouble arise. Right. It just come forth, uh, even without thinking. So it's the natural thing to do. Yeah, we call to God for help because they are just some things, and I, I, I wrote some things, but even in writing, that there are just some things we cannot handle alone. Let, let, let me say, let, let me put all there. Because that, that's what messes us up. Because we pick what we think we can handle. What we pick we can handle, we can't handle. So I've learned when I give it all. To the law. Yeah, yeah. Some of some of our problems come from situations over which we have 
no control. Look at here. Only God can change a man's heart. You cannot enter a man's mind and make him think right. Oh, but I know somebody. God can. You can't mold a new creature out of a stubborn sinner. But I know somebody. God can. Yeah, these, 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 these can make your world come apart if you try to deal with them by yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we can go to God for help because of his track record. God never fails. Friends, many times make us feel guilty when we've done no wrong. Relatives with good intentions sometimes give foolish advice. We cannot curse God to end our suffering. We must bless him instead. I hear that psalm is saying, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Yeah. The psalmist speaks of God's track record in Psalm 90. Lord, you've been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth. Or ever you had formed the earth and the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting. You are God. Look here. In the beginning, God. God is the beginning. There has never been a time when God was not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call on him because of his consistency. I call on him because he is faithful. He's always been there. I dare you to try to think of a time when you call on the Lord and the Lord wasn't there. I, I, I dare you to try to think of a time that you, you needed the Lord uh, and then and, and he was not there. Oh yes, yeah, so when things are coming apart, whisper that precious name. Whisper a prayer in the morning. Whisper prayer at noon. Just keep your heart in tune. Well, he heard David and Daniel. He heard Moses and Malachi. He listened to Paul and Peter. He answered the call of Solomon and Samuel. He heard the cries of Rachel and Ruth. He heard the prayers of Mama Nim. Yeah, he's waiting for you to call him by his name. Yeah, when things are falling apart. All of Job's questions are yet yeah, were answered except one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Job want to know if a man dies, will he live again? Well, the question wasn't answered right then. The question was answered in a garden early one Sunday morning. He who died on Friday was alive on Sunday. Yes, Job, he lives. Well, Potts, how do you know he lives? Job, I know he lives because dead men can neither walk nor talk. But Jesus, he walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells me that I am his own. Just because uh, things may be falling apart around you does not mean that God has left you by yourself. Although all the king's men could not put Humpty Dumpty back together again, I got a feeling uh, that King Jesus could. Our king specializes in doing uh, what cannot be done. God in the rivers, uh, you think, are uncrossable. 
God in the mountains, you can't tunnel through. God specializes. Yeah, 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 in thought, impossible. And he can do what no other power can do. I ought to have some help right about now. There have been times in your life when you realize had the Lord not shown up, if the Lord didn't step in your situation, you'd still be in your mess. Well, the story is told, Miss Nettie, about a seasoned lady who lived in the valley. She had to climb a mountain every time she wanted to go to town or go to church. One Sunday, she heard the preacher, might have been parts, say that God, yeah, could move mountains. She went home praying for God to move the mountain that she was becoming too feeble to go feeble to go over. Her son became concerned. Uh, yeah, he thought mama was losing her mind. Mama, he said, uh, the preacher didn't mean that God would literally move a mountain. Well, she kept on praying. Yeah, Lord, when folks tell you what, yeah, cannot happen, you just keep on praying. Well, she kept on asking God to move that mountain. One day, she looked up on top of the mountain. She saw a man waving a flag and another man looking through some kind of instrument. She went up to ask what was going on. The man told her that a super highway was coming through and this mountain was going to be moved. God have mercy. Well, I don't know what your mountain may be. Oh, Lord, but don't panic. God can. God can, yeah, take things uh, that are falling apart uh, and put them uh, back together again. Look -a here, look -a here, I I'm about to leave you alone, uh, but you uh, must activate your faith. If you have faith mm, the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. When you buy certain items, they must be activated in order to use them. Your faith must be activated, yet yeah, to get the blessing that God has in store. When I bought this telephone, hey Lord, I realized I had the power of the world at my hands. Don't you know you can pay your bills, you can buy cars, you can buy houses, you can buy anything. I can reach around the world in a matter of seconds. I, oh Lord, but look here, I got all this power in my hand, but until I activate it, until you activate your faith, until you step out on faith, ain't no power, ain't no power. Ah! When I activate my faith, when I step out on faith, the Lord will. I say the Lord will. The Lord will. The Lord will. I need to finish telling you about the seasoned lady. Hey, Lord, after I'm in the midst of moving the mountain, she started shouting. She didn't wait till the whole mountain was down. She started shouting in the process of the mountain coming down. I come by to tell you, don't wait for your healing to shout. It's in progress, but you gotta shout now. Don't wait for total deliverance. Shout while you're going through your deliverance. Shout now. Shout now. 
Praise him now. Don't wait until that check comes that you're looking for. Shout now. Don't wait. Yeah, for those doors to open. Shout now. Shout now. Shout now. Yeah, Lord. Ah, yeah. Don't wait uh, until that family member is delivered from jail in our prison. Shout now. Shout now. Shout now. Shout now. Ah, shout now. Yeah, that's what she did. She started praising the Lord. Uh, and I come by to tell you, don't let nobody uh, tell you what you can't do. Yeah, Lord, Paul said, with Christ, I can do all things. Yes, you can. But oh, we got to learn how to step out on faith. You see, it's not a mess. Some of us are praying, Lord, increase my faith. Look at here. If you got the faith, the size of a mustard seed. If I had a mustard seed in my hand, you can't even see it. Stop praying, Lord. Give me more faith. Teach me, Lord, how to use the faith that I already, that I already have. Teach me, Lord, to use my faith when things start falling apart. Sometimes we wait till it has completely fallen apart. Don't wait in the midst of it. Allow the Lord to take charge, to take control of your situation. Many of you in here right now will feel a whole lot better if you just learn how to give it to the Lord and let him work it out. It says, a good man's steps are ordered in the word. In the word, so you let the Lord order your steps. The Lord, you, you, you can't go before him. Lord, show me what to do. Show me how to do. Show me when. Timing is important. Sometimes you can move too fast. Sometimes we move too fast because when we move too fast, we're trying to get some glory for ourselves. But you got to learn how to wait on the Lord. That's why I like to talk about the Lord moves at midnight when you're sleeping in your slumber. When you wake up, everything is all right. All right. So learn. And I shared this with you before. The book of Job is not about his suffering. It's about how he handled his suffering. It's about how he handled his world when it was falling all around him. God bless you. God keep you. But you know, can't call him if you don't know him. There'll come a point that you can call me or anybody else and ask us to calling for you. Yes. But it got to be a situation. You got to come to a point. You got to call him. Maybe what we'll do from now on, we, we can, we'll call him up for you. Then we'll give you the phone. Talk for yourself. There are issues and struggles in your life nobody knows about except you in the Lord. Why not talk to the one who's the author and finisher of our faith? Why not talk to him who knows every, who has numbered every, every strand of hair on Reverend Boxdale here? Could use myself for example, but, but uh, uh, every strand, but even, even in my baldness, the hair particles are still there. They, 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 they're, they're still numbered. 
Mr. Barthi, that, that that's how awesome he is. And I get excited about serving an awesome God. Nothing is, is too small. Nothing is, is, is too large. Nothing is too hard. Nothing is, is, is impossible for the God I serve. He's able, but I got to believe. I got to trust him at his word. He said, you never leave me nor forsake me. I got to trust him at his word. God bless you. God keep you. Thank you, Levis and Grandbaby, for the amens. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to make it without the amen. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, I think they said, a, a, a babe shall lead them out of the mouth. Amen. Did y'all notice the baby knew exactly when to say amen to? Did y'all pick that up? Amen. amen. Goodness. Maybe there's somebody here, things are. Mm -hmm falling apart all around you and you've been calling yeah. on somebody yeah. who you've not set up a relationship yet nah. with if that be the case yeah. I should come as the Holy Spirit all leads you come Lord now as a candidate for baptism by a letter and all Christian experience yeah. however the Holy Spirit leads you we invite you to come now Free love, you know there. Look up for every everyone. I really do believe. I really do believe there's a God somewhere. There's a God oh, somewhere over my head. Over my head. I hear music in the air. I hear music in the air. His son, my soul to save. I really do believe. I really do believe. There's a God somewhere. There's a God oh, somewhere. Over my head. Over my head. I hear music. I hear music in the air. Oh, This morning. I really do believe. I really do believe. I really do if believe. If you ever need the Lord, I really do believe. He'll make a way out of no man. I really do believe. Tell me one day. I really do believe. He died out on the cross. I really do believe. Well, this Sunday morning. I really do believe. He got up with all power in hand. Do believe. I really do believe. There's the God somewhere. There's the God somewhere. Oh, over my head. Over my head. I hear 
some music. I hear music in the air. Oh, over my head. Over my head. I hear music. I hear music in the air. Oh, over my head. Over my head. I hear music. I hear music in the air. I really do believe. I really do believe. I really do believe. I really do believe. That really you really. really This morning, I really do believe. Who put food on your table? I really do believe. Who did you close the way? I really do believe. Who put a roof over your head? I really do believe. I really do believe. I really do believe. I really do believe. I really do believe.